and I will call the meeting to order the Village of Medford Wolford agenda for Council and the Council Chambers uh, on Wednesday, May the 13th, 2020. And I will uh, acknowledge that on the, uh, on the line we have um, Councillor Foster. You are there, sir? I am. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Helpney, you are there, sir? Yes, sir. And Mr. Cameron, you are there, sir? Yes, I am. Thank you. And Mr. Malloy sends his regrets uh, in the council chambers at, at definitely social distancing. We have our CAO, Mr. Robertson, and our uh, treasurer, uh, Kristen uh, Braun. And uh, I do want to make the point that this is a uh, special slash emergency council meeting uh, at 3 p.m. And the reason it is that, uh, as council agreed, we would only have special council meeting uh, sort of as and when needed basis. A special council meeting requires 24 hours uh, notice, and we were under the 24 hours uh, to get the notice out to have the meeting at 3 o'clock. In our procedural bylaw, special slash emergency council meeting can have less than 24 hours notice. And the reason we do need to have this meeting today is, as you can see in the, the agenda, is the uh, passing of the bylaw uh, to, uh, sorry, to amend the bylaw regarding the water wastewater rates for, and I'll speak more to that uh, when we get to that bylaw, as you all know, going from commercial to residential for uh, commercial businesses. Uh, having said that, uh, I will ask, uh, I'll go around the table to ask if there's any disclosure of a pecuniary interest. So, Mr. Foster, do you have a pecuniary interest, sir? And if you do, what is the general nature of it? I do not. Mr. Cameron, do you? I do not. Thank you, sir. Mr. Helpney, do you? No, no. Thank you. And the mayor does not as well. So that is uh, duly noted. And uh, we have a, a motion to approve the agenda. And if I might be so bold, I will say, uh, Mr. Cameron, you would move that. And Mr. Foster, you would second that. Gentlemen, are you both comfortable with being the mover and the seconder to approve the agenda? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Cameron and Mr. Foster. Be it hereby resolve that the Council of the Corporation of the Village of America Wolford does hereby approve the agenda of the special slash emergency council meeting of May the 13th, 2020, as circulated. All in favor, sorry, uh, in favor, Mr. Foster. Yes. Mr. Cameron. Yes. Mr. Halfney. Yes. And the mayor as well. That's carried. Thank you, gentlemen. And I just want to make a few comments just at the beginning. Uh, it's uh, under uh, COVID-19 updates. Certainly, I'm not going to be doing an update as, a, uh, as the Premier uh, does on a regular basis and our Prime Minister. But I do want to uh, make comment on the fact that you know, we do recognize that there is increasing visitor traffic as the weather improves and the restrictions are eased, announced, are eased as announced by the provincial government. This will continue to evolve, I'm sure, and increase as the summer progresses and as the province increasingly makes various announcements and further eases, uh, potentially eases restrictions. So with this in mind, our uh, Municipal Emergency Control Group has developed a progressive adaptable plan with various levels of responses and approaches to address the various circumstances as they unfold. Uh, we're looking at things such as uh, educational signage, pedestrian distancing, and parking management. And uh, what is important is that we will continue to closely monitor how circumstances unfold and how those tools, if you will, in our basket uh, may well be uh, appropriately um, put in place. We also recognize, though, that we do not have complete control regarding visitors from other regions. We do not have unlimited resources, and that we are subject to support and approvals, in some cases, from external agencies. Additionally, I want to point out that, and as I mentioned at the last special council meeting, regarding assisting businesses, staff are finalizing plans to communicate and share information, including guidelines, with businesses in the municipality that outline what businesses will require to have in place, as prescribed by the provincial government, to successfully open. So, this is being uh, done knowing that, as early as tomorrow, the province of uh, the provincial government may well be making further announcements regarding openings, social distancing guidelines, and indeed the guidelines for businesses that may well uh, be allowed to open in the, in the very new future. 
finally, I just want to re- remind uh, folks that uh, we have a great municipal staff, and uh, perhaps not in the normal way and the normal timelines, but all operations and, and services uh, are in place and continue to be delivered for all of our residents and businesses in our municipality. So uh, a, great, uh, a great kudos out to our municipal staff. Having said that, I'm going to move on to the bylaw, and members will recall at our last special council meeting, uh, the motion from council was for our business community to uh, have their uh, water wastewater rates uh, be billed at a residential rate as opposed to commercial rate. And the bylaw that we're putting in place today will allow staff to actually send out the billing, the billing accordingly. And uh, so I need a, a mover and a seconder to put that bylaw in place. And uh, I'll do it the other way around. I'll go the other way. Uh, Mr. Halby, are you all right to make that motion, sir? Yes. Thank you. And Mr. Foster, are you all right to second the motion? Yes. Thank you. So uh, the motion is moved by Mr. Halby, seconded by Mr. Foster. Be it hereby resolved that bylaw 32 2020 being a bylaw to amend Schedule A of bylaw 24 dash. 03 to be read a first and second time, and the bylaw 52 2020 be read a third and final time and passed. Any questions, Mr. Foster? No. Any questions, Mr. Cameron? Uh, yeah, I have a, a question. Go ahead, sir. We have uh, 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 A, B, C, D, and E uh, guest scenarios. Is this, are these, uh, is this what we're doing uh, collectively? Are we moving forward on all these scenarios? Or are we are we picking a specific scenario to go forward with? Um, hopefully, you're not confusing with the scenarios we were discussing as to what kind of rates we would go to. But our treasurer is here, and uh, she can speak uh, briefly to that. And you're referring to the the Schedule A of by, of the bylaw, Mr. Cameron? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you, you Your Worship. Um, we all, yes, this has nothing to do with the scenarios. We have always had A, B, and C, but we had to add two more groups to accommodate council's request. Commercial businesses be charged a residential rate. There are some businesses, such as the municipal facility, um, you know, you have the Canada Post Post Office, uh, the Liquor Control Board of Ontario, businesses like that, which are publicly funded by other levels of government and such. Okay. They're paying their commercial rates. That's why we have to hear it all right, Mr. Cameron. Well, it, it sort of cut out a little bit, but uh, more specifically, we, um, uh, we've, we've divided the two commercial uh, aspects. One's publicly funded, and one is uh, businesses within the village. That's right. uh, The 19 businesses that we have that are mixed use, uh, commercial and residential, uh, how are we approaching that? Are we charging them? Uh, a base rate strictly on the residential or and excluding the commercial rate for them or are we charging them two residential rates? Mr. Uh, Robertson can speak to that. Thank you. Thank you, Worship. Thank you, Councillor Cameron. So Council's direction was to convert the existing commercial water bills to the residential structure and that's explicitly what we did. We did not do more than that or less than that. So if a business has a commercial bill and a residential bill, they will now residential bill. Okay. They will, they'll, uh, I it blanked out there for a second. You said they'll be charged to residential. Is that correct? That's, yeah. yeah, the structure at the moment is if okay. you if, if your entity is uh, you have a residential billing and you have a commercial billing, the residential billing will stay as residential. The commercial billing will be now a residential billing. Okay. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Mr. Healthy, do you have any questions? No, thank you. Thank you. Then, uh, gentlemen, I will uh, call, the, call the vote, uh, and I'll ask if you are in favor, yay or nay. Mr. Foster. I'm in favor. Mr. Cameron. Uh... I, I'm a little reluctant. I, I think that we should be doing a little bit more, but I don't want to leave uh, any savings towards anybody, so I'll reluctantly say yes. That's a yes. Thank you, sir. Mr. Halfney. Yes. And the mayor votes yes as well. The motion is carried. Okay. 
and uh, I'm just checking over the agenda. And the next is a uh, confirmatory bylaw for the uh, these proceedings today. And I'll look for a mover and a seconder. Mr. Foster, you would make that motion, sir? Moved. Yes, thank you. And Mr. Halpty, you would make that motion? A uh, second the motion? Yes. Thank you. So it's moved by Mr. Foster, seconded by Mr. Helpney. Be it hereby resolved that bylaw 36 2020 being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of the special emergency council meeting of May the 13th, 2020, be read a first and second time, and that bylaw 36 2020 be read a third and final time and passed. Are you in favor, Mr. Foster? I am in favor. Mr. Cameron? Yes. Sorry? Hello? Well, are you in favor, Mr. Cameron? Yes. Thank you, sir. And Mr. Halpney? Yes. And the mayor is as well. That is carried. And now I have a motion to adjourn. Uh, I'll ask Mr. Cameron to make the motion and Mr. Uh, Halpney just seconded. Are you all right with me being the mover, Mr. Cameron? Yes. And Mr. Halpney the seconder? Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. It's moved by Mr. Cameron, seconded by Mr. Healthy. Be it hereby resolved that the special meeting of the Council of the Corporation of the Village of America Wolford does now adjourn at 3.12 p.m. until the call of the mayor is subject to need. All in favor? Mr. Foster? Yes. Mr. He uh, Cameron? Yes. Mr. Healthy? Yes. And the mayor agrees as well. The motion is carried. Thank you, gentlemen. Stay safe and healthy.